What's up, Sauce Squad? Austin Dunham back again with another video, and welcome to yet another College Gains vlog. Today's Friday, I do not have class, so in this video, I'm gonna give you updates on my training, what I'm doing, my diet, lifestyle, and just different parts of it, all right? So you're definitely gonna enjoy this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. So it's currently almost 11 a.m. right now. First thing I'm gonna do is get something to eat, and then I'm gonna go train. Of course, I'm gonna show you what I get to eat. So let's go ahead and go. All right, first meal done. Right here are three whole eggs with two egg whites. And here I have some low calorie bread. Now as you see right there, I got natural peanut butter on it. And if you look closely, I got some honey on there too, all right? So not too many calories added and it makes it taste really, really good. Now that's a pretty standard first meal that I eat before I go to the gym, but we're forgetting one more thing. So even though these eggs have about 23 grams of protein in it, it never hurts to get in a bit more because my goal for the whole entire day has and will always be between 0.8 to 1 grams per pound of body weight, all right? That's how I'm maintaining my muscle mass here on this cut that I'm doing. So with that being said, I'm gonna get a scoop of the sauce weight protein. You guys know about the protein. But what I really wanna show you is this new bottle. So it is called the Fit Mix Pro. It looks like a normal bottle, but watch this real quick. All right, so we're gonna get our protein, put it in the Fit Mix Pro. Now I'm using water because I wanna save all my calories. So put a bit of water in there, probably about a cup. All right, then after that, you just put the lid on and watch this, guys. You're about to be super amazed right now. So all you gotta do is press this button right here. Look at that. So guys, this is a portable mixer bottle that has changed my life when it comes to making my pre-workouts, making my protein, and all of that. Why? Because it's so easy, and within like 10 to 20 seconds, I have literally no clumps at all in my protein shakes, so you can forget about stirring. You can also forget about those shaker bottles that take so much time to clean and shake up and all that stuff. Literally, you just put your stuff in there, press this button, and bam. It blends it for you. Now keep in mind, this is not a blender, so you're not gonna put like vegetables and stuff in there. And let's give it a taste. Amazing, super good, all right? Now later in the video, I'm gonna show you guys how easy this thing is to clean it. But right now, real quick, I wanna let you guys know that they hit the Sauce Squad up with 40% off of one of these Fit Mix Pros, all right? So I'll post a link down below in the description if you wanna get yours for 40% off. Okay, the first meal is done, just got done eating. Now I wanna show you how easy it is to clean this up. You don't have to, you know, do anything crazy or anything special. Then after you're done rinsing it, just fill it up with water like this. Press the motor button for it to turn on like that. Look at that. Then after that, just pour it back out and bam, you're good to go. So as my food is digesting and before we hit the gym, I wanna take this time really, really quickly to discuss my goals with you and let you know what's going on in the world of Sauston. So first, you'll notice through my diet and through my um, training here, which I'll explain later, that I'm in a slow, slow cut, all right? I'm not trying to lose weight super, super fast. However, I wanna lose weight slowly and I'm doing this by implementing a few things in my diet, um, such as making sure you know, I'm eating a bit cleaner, saving calories here in there by drinking water, low calorie foods. Now that being said, another reason why is because I'm going to Miami March 14th through the 18th, all right? So I'm gonna try to get some collabs up there. I'm gonna try and work out, have a good time. It's for my spring break, college games, you know? So if you're in Miami, March 14th through 18th, uh, be sure to hit me up or you might see me around the town. I got a cover on my school magazine, all right? So not only the cover, look at the back too. That's lit, that's me and the mascot just posing right there. And in the magazine they have me just talking about my goals, how I started doing what I'm doing. They got a shirtless picture of me right there. So if you wanna read the whole story, be sure to follow me on Instagram at GeekAMD, all right? I post stuff like that there and I'll post a link on my Instagram story. So be sure to check it out, Instagram, Snapchat. Just follow me off of YouTube, all right? Now we're just gonna wait a few hours, let my food digest, hit up the pre-workout with the FitMix Pro and then hit the gym, all right? So I'll be sure to do a voiceover of what I'm doing now and let you know about all my workout changes, all right? So stay tuned. All right guys, so welcome to the workout. Now starting off first, of course, I always work my static skills before every single workout, all right? Nothing has changed there. So this goes for planches, handstands, front levers, 
currently trying to work on the one arm um, handstand too. I'll make a whole video on that, on how I'm doing that. Now let's talk about the big change in my training. So for the past two and a half to three years, I've been doing push pull legs. So it's a great routine, working each muscle group twice a week like you should be. Uh, but now recently I've changed to something new. And that new routine is an upper and lower split. Now essentially I'm still doing the same exercises, doing the same stuff. However, now I just superset everything on my upper body day. Then on my lower body days, I'm still doing the same stuff. So really, I, I transformed my push pull legs routine into more of an upper lower routine. That way I can get more work done and uh, less the time. So I've been on that for probably a month and a half now and I've been loving it uh, so far. So I think all throughout summer, I'm gonna stick with it as I'm cutting down, getting shredded. Now a lot of you guys might already say that I'm looking absolutely insane right now. Well, let me tell you, thank you. Now hopefully I can probably get a bit leaner or even maintain this throughout the summer. Cause like I said, I am hitting up Miami in a few and I wanna look my best. Now in regards to the exercises that I'm doing, I am focusing a lot on weighted calisthenics, all right? Weighted calisthenics, I love it so much. I don't know, just the pump you get and the raw amount of strength and muscle that you get from doing weighted calisthenics. I just absolutely love it. So my training has been focused around that. However, I still do just body weight exercises to maintain that body weight strength. So just one arm pull-ups, muscle-ups, stuff like that, all right? And then I'm still isolating my weak parts with weights. So my upper chest and lateral delts, I'm still using weights to just hit those even harder. So three things, weighted calisthenics, body weights, and um, isolation of my weak points. Now let's talk about legs real quick. My leg progress is going really, really well. Um, I squatted 315 just the other day. I'll post a clip right here so you can see. And hopefully I can just keep moving up my squat because uh, essentially I'm doing weighted calisthenics still because all the squatted is, is just weighted calisthenics. It's just made popular through bodybuilders and powerlifters. Now another thing, a part of my routine that I'm doing is I'm implementing a bit more cardio, of course, trying to lean down like I said. So you Usually two to three times a week, I'm doing probably 15 to 20 minutes of some hit cardio with my jump rope and it's actually going pretty well. Now also I do get a bit more cardio while doing my supersets on my upper body days. Now if you see here, I've been going to this new gym, it's at an Air Force base and I absolutely love this gym. It has rings, it has different bar compounds and it's perfect for doing my weighted calisthenics. I also did some weighted ring dips, I've been working on those too. That's great for the lower chest. So really that's pretty much all that has changed in regards to my Workout routine, I do upper lower now, doing more weighted calisthenics, I still do body weight stuff, of course. I'm trying to bring up my aesthetics, of course, while maintaining my body weight strength and getting even better at that in regards to just reps and sets and also my static work. Now, if you wanna see more training clips that are, are super, super lit, once again, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, guys. Like my Facebook fan page. If you have a Facebook, I'll highly, highly appreciate it because the Saw Squad is everywhere. All right, that is pretty much it in regards to the workout. I'll see you guys after the workout. All right, guys, post-workout. Now, we're on base, so we just stopped by, and I was super hungry, and I got this protein bar. It's by Muscle Milk, and it's cookies and cream. Never had it before, but it's really good, 15 grams protein. When I get back, I'm gonna make something, I'll show you guys that, but I think we're about to go to uh, Tropical Smoothie now and chill out on the front lawn of our college, all right? I know you. Oh, oh, oh. I hope I caught that. I don't know if I got that. Freaking. <laughs> that was bro, hilarious. Yeah, he went up there, right there. Oh my. I gotta play that. Guys, so I just saw a stop by Smoothie King and I got a Gladiator. Now, usually, you know, I'll get the sauce whey protein, but we were out and about, so I decided just to stop by Smoothie King and uh, get this right here. It's chocolate, peanut butter, and banana. And it has gladiator protein in it, so this is about 25 grams of protein. Uh, not too many calories, not that I'm trying to keep track of all my calories anyway. As you saw, I'm still super, super lean from just going intuitive eating. All right, so we also stopped by a place called Chicken Salad Chick. They have chicken salad, and I got a buffalo uh, chicken salad sandwich, basically, on wheat bread, toasted, Actually really good, so 
I guess this is at my post-workout meal. Smoothie and a chicken salad sandwich. All right, Sauce Squad, that was the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and my workout training tips. And I'll show you guys a little bit of my diet. Give a thumbs up if you want a full day of eating video because summer's coming and you know, we're out here getting shredded, bro. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, be sure to subscribe, join the Sauce Squad family and follow me everywhere, bro. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. You got it, you got it, pull up a shut up. Pull up a shut up. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shut up. Pull up a shut up. You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up. Pull up a shut up. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shut up.